The youngest agent ever. It's too late for the city. You are the youngest one repping. How did it feel to get the key to the city? I mean, it felt good. But at the same time, I know I got a lot more to prove. I got a lot more to do. Uh, everyone's proud of me. Everyone's happy for me. I accept it. I know I'm a role model out here. Uh, give the young the young guys someone to look up to, even the girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, if I can make somebody day, I do. Uh, shake hands, give autographs, you know, pictures, whatever. But uh, I don't feel like I've done near as much as what I can. I feel like I got a lot farther to go. And that's just showing improvement. And, you know, I want to be able to come back and guys like, oh, you getting ready for the Pro Bowl. Not yeah, yeah. just, oh, you had a good season. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I want to not be back until after February. Right. Because we didn't play in the Super Bowl. Right. I didn't want a Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's just, it's stepping stones in life. So, I mean, it's going to take some time. But I just got to go out there and keep working. Okay, okay. Uh, from a small town, and I do mean small town, Derrida, uh, to the biggest stage in the world of sports, the gridiron, what tips can you give the future generations of this city to encourage them that this dream is possible? Handle things in an orderly fashion. I mean, it only gets harder before it gets easier. Because the later it is in that point of your life, the easier it gets. But it's not going to get easy without having to go through a lot of hard things. Yeah. My first year of college football, before I even played a special team, I'm talking about workouts, I was about to quit. Yeah. I was about to quit. I was working out. We was running. And I was like, I had just left college. I was the man. I didn't have to work hard at practice. I didn't, like, I go in the game, yeah, I play hard, and but it was just different. So I got there. These guys are better than me. I got to work that much harder. I got to get just as good as them if I want to play. If I want to see that field, you got to work hard. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to get easy. And I was running, and I was, like, dog tired, and it was like, come on, we still got to keep going. It's like, really? Like, y'all really do it this much? <laughs> yeah. It looks fun on TV. Yeah, yeah. You don't see the work behind the scenes. There's no cameras in there where guys are working out when guys are throwing up. Yeah. So, I mean. Wow. Only thing that kept me going was I had just got my grandma's name tattooed on my arm. Because she had died within a, a month of me getting there to college. And she always told me, uh, just make sure I graduate. And I knew if I quit that I couldn't graduate. Because... Football is my only ticket to get into school. Right. Football is my only way that I got the opportunity to get that education that I got. Right. Football is the only opportunity to take me farther than just college football right. to be a professional athlete. So if I had to quit that day, I wouldn't be where I was. I was never taught to quit. I, I was never a quitter. Yeah. But like, it, it was just, it was just that though. hard. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't realize the, like, work you put in. It all looks fun. So I'll just say, uh, younger guys, uh, like I said, handle things in an orderly fashion. You got schoolwork, handle your schoolwork. You got chores, handle your chores. Be respectful to your parents. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you got other obligations, make sure you, you're on time for those obligations. You're early for those obligations. Not just on time. Like, we had the interview. I got here 10 minutes early. Right. I just try to be a professional about everything. You know, if I'm going to tell somebody I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there. If I tell somebody I'm going to do something, I'm going to do my best to do it. And uh, that's just the person. Because once you do that, everything on the field is just easier. Yeah. If you're showing up two minutes early to an interview that you don't even have to be early to because you're doing somebody a favor, so what? That's just you. You'll be even earlier to get the football practice, something that you, who knows, don't get to do for how long. Right. And the coaches see that, and it just only takes you here, here, here. And like I said, it gets it's harder before it gets easier. First year college football super hard. Second year it gets a little easier. Third year, and the game just slows down. 
But if you're not handling everything in order, you're rushing to practice. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you're late for this. Coach, like, this guy don't want to play. Yeah. All right, set him, set him right here. You know what I'm saying? So that's my advice. <laughs>